he plays court. Have you had a chance to review that, Mr. Murdoch? Yes, sir. All right, and do you recognize what those are generally? I do. And what are they? Text between Maggie and I. And what day do they take place? Um, June, the, June the 6th. June the 6th, 2021. Is that correct? That's correct, yes, sir. Uh, at this time, the state would offer states 572 in evidence. No objection. To admit without objection. All right. Tell the jury, where were you when these texts were taking place? I was in the hotel. And where, what city were you in? Columbia, South Carolina. All right. And where were they? Uh, I'm not exactly sure where they were when they first started, but they would have been somewhere between a hotel, a restaurant, and the ball field. All right. But when you send this text on June 6th at 1141, you say y'all in seat already, correct? Yes, that's what I did say. All right. And they say, yeah, uh, Maggie says, yes, we like these seats. Is that correct? All right. That's correct. I, I didn't notice that. So at that point in time, they are in the ballpark. All right, and then you respond better than last night. They extended checkout to one. Going to come then, is that correct? That's what that text says, yes, sir. All right, so you're back at the room, is that right? Yes, sir. Later on, you text after she asked you to bring a charger and says, Muggy, you text, I'm dreading it. See you in a little bit, is that correct? That's what I said, yes, sir. She responds, don't come, but then asked about the charger and says it's hot. Is that correct? Uh, Mr. Waters, I, yes, I assume you were reading it exactly, so yes, sir. She eventually responds, not crowded, but not the place to come. If you don't feel well, very hot and muggy, we are inside, sitting at the bar, very nice indoors. Is that correct? That's what it says, yes, sir. And then you respond, doubt you by accident, they are making me leave, so I'll see y'all in a few. Is that correct? That's correct. And who was making you leave where? Uh, it, was che it was past checkout time at the hotel. After you've gotten an extended checkout, correct? It appears so. And the reality is, is that you were in that hotel suffering from withdrawals when that's going on. Is that correct? I was beginning to, yes, sir. All right. And the reality is, is that your wife and your son were on you at that time period because they had found pills just a few weeks prior. No, sir, that's not correct. Let's talk about June seventh, okay? You uh, got up that morning, or what time do you think you got up and left that day? After having the benefit of looking at all these records. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what time I got up and, and looking at the records obviously I've been up for a while um, but it appears I left shortly after noon okay and you went to work I did yes sir and what were you working on at work I was working on uh, this Dominion Energy case uh, was primarily what I was working on that uh, we had motions coming up later in that week um, as I said earlier, it's, I believed at the time um, that it was the biggest case that I'd ever been involved in. Um, 
and there were motions coming up in that. Uh, I was preparing. Danny had been, Danny Henderson, my partner, that was helping me with the civil uh, case from the boat wreck, had been on me about getting a financial statement, and I finished doing that so that it could be given to Danny. It's primary, is what I remember doing. I obviously, I, I talked to Jeannie. Um, but okay. And what time did you leave? And I'm sure I did some other routine office things, but I can't tell you what they are. All right. What time did you leave? Uh, it appears that I left around a little after 6 from the records. Okay. And I thought I'd left earlier than that, but, I mean, the records were... Seem to be pretty clear. All right. And you were, in fact, I think you said in both many of your interviews that you were working on the boat case that day as well, your financial declaration. I, yes, I, I prepared the financial declaration. I didn't do any work in this civil case. Um, so my, my work in, in, in that is what I did. I prepared the financial statement, which took me a little bit of time to, 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 to get the details on that, but I mean, that was the work I did on in preparation for the motions coming up. And what time did you get home? Um, in looking at the records, it looks like I got home uh, a little before 7, 6.45, I think, 6, 6.40 something. Mm -hmm. Then you and Paul rode the property? Correct. And you, you told law enforcement you shot a twenty two? That's correct. You told law enforcement that you never saw any blackout? That I'd never seen a blackout? That at that point in time when you and Paul were riding the property. No, I did not see a blackout. Did you tell law enforcement that you and Paul were around, going around looking for hogs? If I said that, go ahead. And, and, and if I told them that, you know, you don't look for hogs in the daytime. All right, that just the hogs are deep in the swamp in the daytime. So I can tell you that Paul and I were not riding around looking for hogs. But what we were doing is we were going from food plot to food plot, and we were looking for hog signs, all right? What a hog will do is come out and root, and they tear up food plots. They tear up, they tear up everything. And so that was one of the things we were doing. But we were not hog hunting. We were not looking for hogs. We did not have the 300 blackout with us. Okay. Paul didn't have the gun that he that blackout that he favored with him while y'all rode the property. The gun that's in here? Any, any rifle. There was no 300 blackout with me and Paul. All y'all had was a 22. And that was a 22 pistol, but we didn't have that with us at that time riding the property. Right. And you testified You've seen this, the Snapchat video of you on the tree, is that right? I have seen that. And you don't dispute the time of that video, do you? I don't, I don't even know what time that was taken, but whatever the gentleman we'll came and testified to, mm -hmm. I don't dispute that. All right. And what time, well, let me ask you this. When did you go back to the house? Were you with Paul or were you by yourself? I was by myself when I went back to the house. I went back to the house basically when Maggie got there. When Maggie got there. All right. And where, where had Paul gone prior to that? Was he back at the house already or he came after you? Paul was at the shop when I went back to the house. All right. So you beat him to the house is what you're saying. Is that right? I beat him to the house? Yeah. You were at the house prior to him getting there. Yes. All right. And you say Maggie was there at the same time or there before you or there after you? That's what I'm not absolutely certain about. Mm -hmm. I believe that Maggie came through the kennel entrance and going back and looking at these records and these times, I believe she came through the kennel entrance while Paul Paul and I were at the shop. Mm -hmm. But 
Either way, I got to the house very shortly after Maggie got there. Okay. And I, I believe that she came through, and I believe that I went right behind her. And when did you take the shower that you've been talking about to this jury? I believe when I first went in the house. I mean, I would have talked to Maggie for a second, but I'd seen her that morning, so I would. You left your clothes on the floor? I'm not sure. It makes sense to me, given what Blanca's um, said, but I, I couldn't tell you one way or the other. All right. About what time was that, you think? In looking at the records, I think that was a little after 8. And you're saying Maggie was already there at that point? When I got to the house? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what did you do after that? I came back out, sat down on the couch to eat dinner. All right. What About what time was that? A few minutes later. I mean, it didn't take me long to shower. And... You say Paul was already eating at that point? He was. And you say he left first? What I, what I said is he got up and he finished eating. Mm -hmm. And he left our immediate vicinity. Now, um, I don't believe he left at that point, given what I've looked at time records and all. I believe that he was around the house for a little bit longer. And just to be clear, again, but I didn't see him. All of this detail was people were hearing for the first time yesterday, like we talked about before, correct? Say that again. All of this detail that we're going through right now is not anything that you related before. We're all hearing this for the first time yesterday. Objection, Your Honor. Fifth Amendment privilege. Objection is overruled. So, yes, I, I, I did not tell law enforcement. Actually, I don't think law enforcement asked me what I did when we first went to the house, but I clearly lied to law enforcement about what I, what I said yesterday. Okay. And all of this, the last time you saw your, supposedly saw your wife and child, all of this detail, you, you as a lawyer and a prosecutor didn't think that was important to offer on your own? Oh, I think it's important. You told this jury how cooperative you were been, you've been and how much information you wanted to provide, but you left out the most important parts, didn't you? I left out, I left out that, I sure did. You don't consider that one of the most important parts? I think it's important. <clears throat> All right, tell me about what happens next. Tell me about how Maggie and Paul end up out down at the kennels. I'm, not, I'm still not absolutely certain exactly how they ended up at the kennel, but in looking at the time frames and looking at the, the GPS points, I, I think I pretty well know, because I wasn't sure if Maggie had walked to the kennels mm -hmm. or or ridden to the kennels. And I wasn't exactly sure how Paul Paul got there, but um, I'm all but certain that Maggie and Paul went to the kennel together. All right. And what was the discussion? You said that they were going down there, but you didn't want to go. Is that right? Maggie. What I said is Maggie asked me to go to the kennels with her, and I wasn't going to go. I said I'm not going to go. And how long after she left did you supposedly go down there? It, it, it was very quickly. And what did you tell this jury in all these new facts as to the reason you changed your mind? Why'd you change your mind? I just had a shower. Mm -hmm. when, when you go to the kennel, you always end up at the shop, the dogs are running around, you're always going to end up doing more work. Mm -hmm. All right? It's hot. I'd already had a shower. I didn't want to go to the kennel. I understand that. So why'd you change your mind? Because Maggie wanted me to. All right. So you thought about it for a few minutes and then decided to go down there? I don't think I sat and contemplated, mm -hmm. am I going to go, am I going to go? Mm -hmm. 
I think that, like many things Maggie wanted me to do, if I didn't do it at first, I ended up doing it. And you took the golf cart down to the kennels? That's correct. How long did that take to drive from the house down to the kennels in a golf cart? You know, I, I, in looking at the records from OnStar and all of that, it seems to take about a minute in the um, – golf cart? Nope. In the, in the Suburban. Mm -hmm. So I would think it's probably, in looking at those speeds, uh, what, 20, 24 miles an hour, I would think it takes double that. I think it takes a couple minutes. All right, so you'll concede at least a couple minutes to drive down there. Is I that think, right? Yes. In a golf cart? That's correct. <clears throat> when the kennel video was going on, had you arrived before that? I believe that I had. Okay. How long do you think you had been there before that was going on? Not long. Um, because when I got there, in looking at the kennel video, you can see Paw Paw standing in the kennel. Mm -hmm. When I got there, Paw Paw wasn't standing in the kennel. He wasn't in the kennel anymore? Well, he wasn't in the kennel. like. He is in the video. Right. He's, I mean, he's probably, and I don't know exactly, but I know he wasn't in the kennel. He was like in the driveway. He was fooling with cash. He was in the driveway. Um, but like close to the kennel, but not in the kennel like he is in the video. So the video happened after that, according to you? Video happened after I got after there. After you first saw Paul, you're saying he wasn't in the kennel. When did the video happen? I believe that to be the case. Okay. After you had arrived, is that correct? Yes. And very shortly after I arrived, but after I arrived. All right. And did you tell Maggie at that time that you were going to go to Alameda? I did not. Did y'all discuss it at all, according to you, to these new facts you're testifying to? I don't believe so. Did you have any conversation with her? Oh, yeah. Had you had a conversation, did you have a conversation with Paul about the dogs, about Cash's tail prior to going down there? Prior to going down there? I don't, did I have a conversation with Paul yes. about Cash? did you Cash? talk to him about Cash and some problem with his tail prior to going down there? Did you have any knowledge of that prior to going down there? I'm not sure. As I sit here today, I, I don't recall that, but I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't think so. When you first arrived in the golf cart, where did you pull up to? I pulled up right where Maggie was. Which is where? She was standing in the spot where she could see in between the chicken coop and the storage room of the kennels. Okay. where the dogs were back up in those planted pines behind the kennels to the left of the chicken coop. And what did you do after that? I went back to the house. No, I mean, did you, you pulled up, you get out of the, the, uh, the golf cart? Oh, when I, no, when I pulled up, I stayed on the golf cart. You stayed on the golf cart. How long did you stay on the golf cart? <laughs> However long I was down there. The entire time? No, I got off to take the chicken from Bubba. How long were you down there before you took the chicken off the boat? Very short time. Like what? Couple minutes. And what were you doing during the couple minutes before you got over there to deal with Bubba? Talking to Max. All right. And what did y'all talk about? I don't know. You don't remember? No, sir. I do know that uh, Maggie was very concerned about Paw Paw, and. Um, You remember a lot of detail about all these new facts, but you don't remember what you talked about? I don't remember the exact details of what we talked about. I believe that at that time we may have talked about Paw Paw, but I'm not certain. Were you withdrawing at this time? At this time, no, sir. You weren't withdrawing at all? No. I mean, I, I would only withdraw when I didn't have pills. 
And you're saying you had pills? Yes. Down there for a couple minutes, I think you've said now, before you get off the golf cart? About, yes, sir. All right. And where do you go at that point? I take the chicken from Bubba. All right. So you get up? Well, I mean, Bubba's, you know, Bubba's come out there with this chicken. I mean, he's showing us, hey, I caught this chicken. Mm -hmm. And I take the chicken from Bubba. So Bubba came up to the golf cart? He came up by the golf cart. He came up to Maggie and I, which I was on the golf cart. She's by the golf cart. I mean, he's not coming to the golf cart, but he's coming to us. Is this during the kennel video or is this after the kennel video? Well, no, you hear Maggie say he's got a chicken. Okay. That's what she's talking about is Bubba caught a chicken. All right. All right. So is the kennel video still going on before you go get the chicken? I mean, you've heard it, correct? You've heard it in this courtroom. I don't know exactly. Um, I, I don't know exactly, but in close time into Bubba coming out of those woods with the chicken, mm -hmm. I got up and took the chicken from him. Okay. Let me ask you this. Were the dogs barking and carrying on or going out into the woods or acting like they sensed somebody was around that they didn't know? Were the dogs acting like there was somebody around that they didn't know? Yeah, like dogs do. No, the, no, they the, weren't. There was nobody. There was nobody. around that the dogs didn't know. Okay. Dogs didn't didn't, to your indication, sense anything out of the ordinary. They were just chasing after the guinea. There was nobody else around. All right. Good. For them to to, to sense. You've heard the kennel video. Would you agree with me that it lasts for about fifty seconds? I agree with that. So it would have ended around 8.45 and 45 seconds. Would you agree with that? I do agree with that. Did you have the chicken out of Bubba's mouth at the end of the kennel video, or did it take longer than that? You know, I can't remember exactly when in the video he came up, up with the chicken, but I would, have had to, I would have had the chicken out of his mouth within 10, 15 seconds of of Maggie saying he's got a chicken. All right. And so then what did you do? I put the chicken up. All right. How long did that take? Did you get out of the golf cart to do that? I did. All right. And you had to go walk to where it was? Well, yeah. I mean, it, a few feet, but I, I, I did that, yes. All right. So how long did that take? I mean, seconds. We're, we're at 846 now. How long did that take? Seconds. Just seconds? All right. And what did you do after that? Got back on the golf cart. Mm -hmm. And what'd you do after that? I left. You left. Now, you just did I jumped leave? on the golf cart and left. Well, that's what I was getting ready to say. Okay. Did I get on the golf cart and leave that second? Probably not. Mm -hmm. But did I get on the golf cart and leave very quickly after that? I did. Okay. Yeah, I think you testified yesterday. I got out of there. I did. Why'd you get out of there so quick, Mr. Murdoch? Because it was chaotic, it was hot, and I was getting ready to do exactly what I didn't want to do. You were getting ready to do what you didn't want to do. That's correct. Yeah. I was getting ready to sweat. I was getting ready to work. I went back to the air conditioner. So did you say goodbye, according to your new story? Did I say goodbye? Yeah. Did you talk to them at all, or did you just get the chicken, put it on there, jump on there, and just oh, no. take off? I wouldn't have just gone off. I mean, I would have said, I'm leaving. Okay. Did I say goodbye or bye? And again, go but, ahead. I mean, there would have been some, you know, there, there would have been some exchange. I'm not staying here. Well, what was that exchange? I mean, you have, you've had such a photographic memory about these new stories. What, 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 what happened here? No, that's not, I can't tell you the exact words. You don't remember? your conversation after you put that chicken up. Did y'all talk about the chicken? No, I don't think we did. Did you talk with Paul about Cash's tail? After the chicken? Yeah. No, I, I know I didn't do that. Did you tell Maggie I'm gonna go check on him? At that point, no, I don't, I don't did think I did. Did you tell Maggie, oh, it's hide out here if they gonna go back? I, I certainly would have said something to that effect. All right. So. 
unlike everything else with the new story, you just can't recall what, what that would have been. Well, I, you know, I mean, you're making that categorization. I, I think there's other things about that that I can't remember. But if the question is, can I remember exactly what words I used when I gave Maggie some uh, salutation when I'm leaving, I can't tell you what those were. All right. But it would have been something to the effect of, I'm leaving. All right. Okay. But you would concede that there was at least some conversation, that you wouldn't have just put the chicken on there and jump, ran back to the golf cart and taken off. Correct? Without talking to Maggie, I would have never done that. All right. All right. So, Will, let's, uh, you want to say a minute? Does that sound about right? A minute for what? To have just whatever interaction it took for you to then, according to your new story, drive back to. No, sir. It, it wouldn't have taken me a minute. It would have been. Minute. It would have said it would have been I'm leaving I'll see you in a minute okay so 30 seconds I don't think it would have taken 30 seconds but I mean I'm fine with you using whatever time you want to apply well, but I don't I'm think I'm just it would asking about real life here and, and how people interact with one another mother uh, mr. Murdoch I mean so what you're telling this jury I call you're fuzzy on these kind of details is that you jetted down there you dealt with the chicken and jetted right back no, no, sir. No, sir. I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't jet down there, and I didn't jet back. I got up after Maggie asked me to leave. After, after Maggie asked me to go with her, and I didn't. I got up. I went and got on a golf cart. I drove down there. I did what I did. I said I'm leaving, or something to those words, and I went back. All right. Well, if it's about 8:46. If the kennel video ends at 8.45 and 45 seconds, and it's about 8.46, we at least can see that maybe it was about a minute before you got on that golf cart and headed back. Just reasonable real life. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it was that long, but maybe, sure. All right, so. But I don't think it was that long. I mean, right, well, exactly what I thought was going to be going on at that kennel, why I didn't want to go there to begin with, is yeah. exactly what was going on. Yeah, well, I get that. I get and I left. Are these also convenient facts in your new story that have to fit with the timeline now that that evidence has been thrown in your face? No, sir. Does that sound like real life to you, that you jet down there and jet back, Mr. Murdoch? Mr. Waters, as I just told you, I didn't get on my golf cart and jet down there. I didn't jet back. Those the reason your, why you have to be so fuzzy Waters, about these details. Mr. Mr. Waters, hang on. Just answer before another question is presented. Yes, I'm, sir. I'm this answering moment. your question. This moment. Are you responding to the last question? Yes, sir. I'm responding to your question, and, and, and you're using words that I'm not using. And, and, and I'm, that's your categorization. Do you agree I'm entitled to ask my questions to you, sir? Absolutely. Okay. And, and I'm going to answer them. Uh, All I'm saying is I'm, I'm t taking issue with the manner in which you're changing what I'm saying. So and you disagree this is a new story? You disagree with that characterization? Yes. This, this is the first time that this is being told openly. And you disagree to my characterization that you've got a photographic memory about the details that have to fit now that you know the, these facts. But you're fuzzy on the other stuff that complicates that. You disagree with that? I do disagree with that. I, I, I think that I, I think th right. th that I have a good this? memory about a lot of things on this. How about this? We got the Kimmel video ending at 8:45:45. So, just to take care of the chicken, put it up. I was going to say 8:47, but somewhere around there. I think you said somewhere around there. Is that fair? Just to do whatever you need to do and get on that cart before you head back. The kennel video ended at 8.45? In 45 seconds. 8.46. It, it certainly could have been 8.47 before I left out of there. Okay. I think it was sooner than that, but it could have been. All right. That's 60 seconds. And 50, 75 seconds, correct? <laughs> After it ends. If it ends at 8.45 and 45 seconds, it's a minute and 15 seconds characterized it yesterday as I got out of there, right? That is exactly what I did. Right. So if we're at 847, I think you said, benefit, giving you the benefit of the doubt, it's two minutes to get up 
back to the house, correct? Approximately. All right. And when you got back to the house, where'd you park the golf cart? Same place I'd gotten it from, right where Mark Ball testified that it was. All right. And what door did you go in? I would have gone in the front door. And if you left around 847 and it took about two minutes to get up to the house, what time would that make it, Mr. Murdoch? If I left at 847 and if it took me two minutes, that would make it 849. 849. You testified you went inside and the TV's on, right? I did go inside and the TV was on. Okay. And you laid down, is that right? I did. All right. Before you said you'd been napping for an hour or so, or napping that entire time, but now you, you laid down on the couch? That's correct. All right. And maybe doze for a second? Maybe. According to your new story? How long did you doze? I, I, if, if I dozed, extremely short time. Extremely short time? Because you would agree with me that at 9.02, you're up and moving, according to the data. I agree that according to that data, my phone's recording steps at whatever time it is, 9.02 something. How long did it take you, if you're at the house at 8.49, how long before you went late on the couch? I would have gone straight to the couch, probably. I may have gone by the sink or, I, you know, I may have gotten a spit cup, but it would have been basically straight to the couch. Straight to the couch? Yes, sir. And you're telling this jury that that's what happened and you were back at the house at 849 and you lay down on the couch and dozed for a second and then you were up with more steps in a shorter time period than you had done all day. Well, I mean, your number is 849. What I'm telling this jury is that I went down there, and when I took that chicken from Bubba, I would have said something to Mags. I got back on that golf cart, and I drove back to my house. After getting back to my house, I went inside, and in short order, I went to the couch. Mm -hmm. That's what... I'm telling this jury. Did you go anywhere, anywhere else in the house? Mr. Waters, I can't tell you specifically about that. I, I don't think so, but I may have. Did you have that tan blackout and a 12-gauge shotgun on that golf cart when you drove down there? No. You didn't? No. Did you see them when you were down there? No. No. So we got you back around 849 and you're leaving at 902, correct? And you didn't see any weapons down there. You just happened to be back there. You didn't hear anything at all. Did you hear anything at all, Mr. Murdoch, during that time period? No, I did not. You didn't? Didn't you tell law enforcement that you thought you heard them pull up? Didn't you tell law enforcement that? I did think they had okay. pulled up. All right, so that was that you did think that? Yes. All right. So now you're saying there was a car pulling up? No. You didn't testify to that yesterday, did you, in your new version of events that no, I, you I don't construct? Mr. Waters, I don't believe there was a car pulling up. Okay. But that's what you told law enforcement, didn't you? No. I told law enforcement that I thought they had pulled up. Okay. All right. But you're saying you couldn't hear blackout shots, supposedly, but you could hear that, correct? I didn't say I couldn't hear blackout shots, but I'm saying that I thought when, when I got up, from taking a nap, if I took a nap, but when I got up from laying down, as I was getting ready to go to my mom's, there was a point in time where I thought Maggie and Paul had come back. You also told them that you thought you heard a wildcat, but maybe it was a person or something like that as well? No, that's not what I said. What did you say then? I said when I went outside that there's a, a, a house cat that's, a, that's gone wild, and he hangs around. He goes from hanging around the shop, goes from hanging around the house, different times. You might, and, and there'll be times you don't see him. And he had been around the house. Mm -hmm. And when I went outside, 
I believe that cat was over there. Okay. That, and you made a point of mentioning I that never, to law enforcement. I never thought it was a person. All right. But you made a point of mentioning that to law enforcement, correct? In, in the course of discussing it, I did tell them that. But you never told them all this new story that you've constructed in light of this trial. Is that correct? I did not tell them that I went to the kennel. I lied about that. And at the same time, you also looked at this jury and tried to tell them that you had been cooperative in this investigation. Uh, other than lying to them about going to the kennel, I was cooperative in every aspect of this investigation. Very cooperative, except for maybe the most important fact of all, that you were at the murder scene with the victims just minutes before they died. Right? I did not tell them that I went to the kennel. We'll take a break at this time for about 15 minutes, talking to the jury. Please uh, go to the jury room.